Hello, this is Rico's vs. Tyler. Um, this is the second video. Um, and basically, I'm going to be teaching you another way that I like to set up my line art. Now, for the first video, you can use that as a, a blueprint or a, a foundation for this one. You don't have to change anything. The only thing that you change for this particular video is the multiply of the original line art to original. I mean, normal, sorry, normal. Um, and the reason for doing that is because we're going to take the line art game to another level or a step further. Um, so what you're going to do here is now pay attention because this is going to take a few steps. What you're going to do here is you're going to open up your channels panel and if you don't have your channels panel open or already out uh, you go to you can go to windows and just scroll down and these are all your panels that you can possibly open up and they'll be uh, at your disposal uh, and as you see channels is right here and on any computer they're alphabetic, alphabetically uh, organized so you should have no problem finding them alright so what you're going to do is uh, you're going to uh, for a Mac is going to be command click and what it does is it chooses uh, it selects the outer anything that's white on the page so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to layers all right and as of now you can actually hide the line art you don't you don't need it right now you don't need it if anything you won't need it at all during this whole process because you're going to open up two layers uh, you're going to name those layers one layer is going to be flat or whatever you want to call it because what you're going to do this layer you're going to um, you're going to just put down a flat color I prefer white uh, just to be on the safe side alright and for this layer this is going to be your new line art layer I just name it line because it doesn't, you already know it's line art um, so go to select deselect Go to flat, put that white down. All right, you see there's nothing there. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a, of a magic trick here. You're gonna go to reselect, go select one more time and choose inverse and just Watch the magic. Select, deselect, and look at that. What you're looking at right now is basically a transparency. Um, so if I take away that flat, if I take away that flat layer or hide it, you can see right through the lines. And you're probably asking what's the difference between the first style that I showed you and this style in particular there's a big difference if you want to take your art to another level or not just another level if you prefer to do more with your lines than just uh, color over them um, this particular this particular style allows you you choose a line art it allows you to select the very lines in a way that you're selecting the lines and not the the entire piece. So if I were to do that, if I were to select that line right there and click this arrow, go to your keyboard and choose the up button, it selects it for you. Now you choose the the click on the down button to realign it. And as you see I've selected that line and I can do with that line as I please 
as long as this is chosen, I can do with that line as I please. Now you're probably still asking, why would I want to mess up my line art? You won't. This is just an example to, to, to show you that you can isolate it. But the real reason, the real reason why you would want to select your line art is for this on top layer. Which I'm gonna make a open that on top, make a new layer. Um, oh, sorry, wrong one. So on top, I'm gonna hide this folder, do the on top, and now if I want to, I can color this line just the line, not the, the white around it. Um, the, the issue with the problem with the other, uh, the other style, which is on multiply, it makes it a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to choose the exact line because if, if your entire piece isn't uh, rightly balanced between white and black and there are still hash marks or anything that you, that, that are, uh, that are, um, not showing to the to the naked eye, but our act, but the computer still reading. You're gonna wind up choosing uh, the line art and the white itself, or pieces of the white because of what the computer is reading. So this style allows you to just choose the line art, so that you can make any kind of effects that you want along the lines themselves. And I'm going to actually uh, tell you in the, the next videos why this, why this is actually uh, an even, uh, what are the possibilities of this, which are probably endless, but I'm going to show you the possibilities that I like to use them to. Alright. So, close this out. And uh, that'll be it. All right, thank you.